In this tutorial I will demonstrate a new way to create a bootable USB drive for an old Mac operating system using a modern Mac and a modern operating system. So friends, if you are one of those who encountering errors while attempting to create a bootable USB drive for an old Mac operating system, then this new method can significantly assist you. Hello friends and welcome back to MZ Learning. Dear friends, as I mentioned before, this is a brand new method which I have recently discovered for Windows users to create a bootable USB drive for Mac on Windows computers. However, this method can also be used on a Mac. And believe me, it's a lot easier on Mac than on Windows. So let's get started. To begin, we require a blank USB drive of at least 8 or 16 gigabytes. The size of the USB depends on the size of your operating system. First, we will prepare our USB drive and then make it bootable. So plug your USB drive and open the Disk Utility app. The Disk Utility app is located in the Utilities folder of your Applications folder. When it opens, go to the View menu and select Show All Devices. Now in the left sidebar, select the top level of your USB drive and click on Erase button. In the Name field, type a name for the USB drive. In the Format drop-down menu, select Mac OS, Extended Journaled. In the Scheme drop-down menu, select Quid Partition Map. Everything is OK, now hit the Erase button. After erasing, close the Disk Utility app. Now open your web browser and go to the Apple Support page for downloading your required Mac operating system. All old and new Apple operating systems are available for download here. Some operating systems you can download directly from here, and for some, you need the App Store. Operating systems that can be downloaded directly from here include Mac OS Sierra, El Capitan, Yosemite, Mountain Lion, and Mac OS X Lion. Let's download one of them. I choose Mac OS Sierra because it's the last available option from Apple, which can be downloaded directly from their website, and is compatible with many older Mac models. As soon as I click the Mac OS Sierra link, it will start downloading the Mac OS Sierra DMG file into my computer. This process will take some time, depending on your internet speed. After downloading, go to your downloads folder. Here you will see a file named install Mac OS or something like that. Upon opening the DMG file, you will find Apple's installer in zip format, in package format. The first step is to extract the macOS installer from this package file, then you will be able to create a bootable USB drive. The process is straightforward, simply double-click and install the package file onto your Mac. Within seconds, the macOS installer will be stored in your application folder. But I am not going to do this. Because on modern Macs, some people get errors in this process. Don't worry, I am showing you a different way to extract the macOS installer from this package file. Install any good unarchived software, like an RAR extractor. Once installed, simply right-click on the package file and extract the macOS installer. When the process is complete, navigate to the extracted folder. You will find several files in this folder, including the install os.package file. To proceed, right-click on this file and choose Show Package Contents. Next, you need to locate the install esd file. Double-click on it to mount it. By default, you will only see the packages folder in it. However, if you reveal the hidden files by pressing the command Shift and period key simultaneously, you will discover additional files. The next step is to locate the base system DMG file and mount it. Subsequently, reopen the disk utility application. Now right-click on your USB drive and select Restore. From the Restore drop-down menu, choose OS X base system, then click on the Restore button. The restore process won't take long as the file is small. Once the restore is complete, click the Done button and close the Disk Utility app. We have successfully restored the base system onto our USB drive. Now, we need to add additional files. So navigate to the Install ESD folder of your installer and copy the base system.dmg and base system.checklist files onto your USB drive. After copying both files, go to the system folder of your USB drive and then open the installation folder. Here you will see a shortcut named Packages. Delete it. 
Next, go back to your installer ESD folder and copy the packages folder into the same location on your USB drive. We are almost done, just one last step remaining. Go to your USB drive. Right click on the install macOS Sierra and select Show Package Contents. Navigate to the Contents folder and then the Resources folder. Locate and copy the Install Assistant icon file from this folder and paste it onto your USB drive. Rename the copied file to volume icon icons. Please remember, type the exact name. That's it. Our USB drive is now ready to use, and now we can install macOS Sierra on any compatible Mac. If you find this method to be difficult, there are alternative options, such as using applications like Tinker Tool System. This tool creates a bootable USB drive without using the terminal. I have made a separate video on this topic, the link is in the video description. I hope you find this video useful. If this video works for you, please hit the like button and consider to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching, have a nice day.